Hi everyone. Today I'd like to share or talk about ten ways to make your English sound more polite. Whenever uh, you are talking to somebody, or maybe、um, you need to ask for a favor, you need to end a conversation, you need to disagree with somebody, you need to decline an invitation, you need to accept an invitation. Or you need to say no. You need to、uh, point out somebody's mistakes. You, you need to make an offer, or you need to interrupt. All of this, there,、uh, there are more polite ways to say it, and I like to talk about that. Sometimes I see some of your messages, and I know your intention, but your words can come off a little bit impolite to a native speaker, and therefore. Let me please、uh, correct or share these polite ways to uh, uh, whether you want to interrupt somebody or whether you want to make a request or you want to point out a mistake or you want to disagree with somebody. So, comment the language of the country to me. So, comment to me. The language of the country is in general, the common and the common. Kujab thane meji ke nundu thongo ine re, ya meji ke kachi ke je para lo zuko ke tu ine re, ya meji ke kya tende shu je kya dumo tu ine zul ha ine re, ya je rokhu chida se tu pa rokhu chimu tu ine da kandi cha ine tu tu labda she da kujab thane labda yar ba, antari inji na lo lo kujab thane. So everybody knows. Please thank you and excuse me. The thick hands of Ganga King Rasanguto. I think everybody knows these three phrases. Please the Kadune to to see. Oh, please can you give me this? So please can I have this? Or please、uh, help me out with this? Or、uh, or if somebody says. Can't be so embarrassed. Oh, please, Lavina, Lai, see what it please. So please could also mean like Lai. And thank you, the Shumor, wa kadu ne. Thank you, love do touche see what wa. And the excuse me, the pujo dan dan kashi jore. So let me quickly, quickly touch on these, touch on these different ways. So number one, excuse me. Excuse me, the pujo dan dan the tangbu the mangshu pujo dan the. Besh ano susu langga ati tanda lovin ang langga tanda sin excuse me please let me through like excuse me lana ang langga tanda roj siroba excuse me new with the two tia yovina you can ask somebody excuse me can you tell me how to get there and then the excuse me sumbat din nanga besh impresyon sa gudo besh ano um nga tanan si di si kasi Class at the Gagdikya Budwa, like, oh, I'm the verb chigrwa, verbs and pegana Gagdikya in some. Yam in a fart and a turu show of a sigrwa. Yam in a mini get she should hook us to get para zueti. Then did she do? You have to say, excuse me. Um, get the, get the Tungona did the end of the night. She do, uh, she, uh, excuse me, said he. I don't know if. Yeah, you know, man, how come I'm so ne? Ah, because I'm not good at doing that. I'm too good at looking good. I'm not good at doing that. 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 I'm not good at So the injigi looks soon on Lola. The excuse me, say the picture down the mangbu yore yine mangshu the tenzu shins. All right. So today is number one. Don't ever say I want. And inji no Lola, I want. The gaga gaga na lo waya waya say the the dingme shi dingme marwa. Uh, you never want to say I want, because in general I want lana me pajo laka tangyo sorry ji oh kira dikish version ah dile ah kujab thone lavati I'd like I'd like something you know um I like to ask for your help ngakira rokush chiroji kichin dirves. 
I'd like as a more polite and diplomatic phrase. So uh, never ever say I want. You can say I'd like something. I, I'd like blah blah blah. And kala nga do so let's say sangjil do do ni nga chik coffee chik da cake chik nga wena. You can also say I will have uh, when you look at the menu. Taidan kala menu da do. I will have number one, one number one, and one number two. So, the drinks nga tu tuya, the kala nga tu, you can say, I will have this and that. Or you can say, I'd like to have this and that. Or you can say, to uh, it, and I want to ask you a question, I'd like to ask you a question. Number two, never say, uh, between two colleagues, never say, don't uh, send me or give me or reply me now. Uh, uh, go there or any of that. The best way to say it is, could you or could you please? Uh, could you please reply to my email when you get a chance? Uh, could you please send me that report in the next few hours? Or uh, you can say, uh, could you please give me a reply when you can? Uh, so these are all polite ways to say. Could you or could you please? Could you finish that report as soon as you can? So these are all the ways to say could you. So here's one exception. Exception is for very big requests and favors. The rocko chungu shuju you go yo na pechan miji zane skom saya chik ya wo ne re ya miji kiran la rocko te chungu shuju chu yo na. Then could you or can you is also testy dije ya kirku tu cha cha ba. Uh, in that way, you cannot say could you or can you. You have to go even more polite than that. And so, could you or can you learn? And this in Kazura is not very, it's too, uh, you have to be a little, little bit more indirect. So favorite you might want to say, I have a huge favor to ask, or I have a very big request to ask. Is there any way you can consider? Here is like you're 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 not saying can you do it, but you're saying number three is whenever you want to point out somebody is wrong you never want to say they're wrong you never want to say they made a mistake or it's your mistake it's better way to say it is like let's say pointing out a mistake you can say it looks like uh, it looks like there is some discrepancy in in your report or you can say it seems like uh it seems like maybe some of the numbers are, uh, you can, I don't know, something like some of the numbers in the report seem a little bit off or didn't we agree on doing this or didn't we decide that we were going to do this when someone else did something else? I thought we had agreed to or I thought we had agreed on uh, keeping it this way or something like that, right? Or I seem to remember that. So you never want to say Kiran Norsha, Kiran Kazan di Labimba, Kiran Kazan Dide Membucha is more like Ong yet Tembusuel Anganzu uh Sapubu Taju Sapubu di Tue Taju Chimarva Sarjura. It could be anything like that where you never want to say you never want to say somebody is wrong or it's your mistake. You can point out like it looks like there's some uh, discrepancy, loving and what that means is, oh, there's some information in this report that doesn't really seem right, right? Number four, um, whenever somebody invites you to something and you can't go, we don't just say, no, no, thanks, I'm busy. This sounds rude. So a better way to say it is, oh, that sounds great. That sounds like a really fun event, but I have an exam tomorrow or I'm really busy at work. Or you can say, that sounds great, but I have so much work to do right now. Or I'm sorry, but I really can't. I have to do whatever you need to do. Don't lie for your reason, but you always want to say something like, 
that sounds great, but, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I really appreciate the invite, but I have so much work to do or I have some other commitment. You can say all these, uh, you, you can give all these reasons for saying no. When someone gives you an idea and you think the idea is not a very good idea, you don't want to say, well, that's a silly idea or that's not a good idea. You can say, if you think it's an idea has no way that it will survive or will work, you can say, I'm not sure that would work. Uh, that might not be the best solution at this time. I don't know if that would work or that might be a little too ambitious. Uh, to give me a Six. Number six is when you want to offer help. You don't want to say, do you need help? Because when you say, do you need help? Sometimes uh, some inji's a little bit sensitive. So that's they think like, oh, are you saying I cannot do it? Are you saying I cannot handle it? So when you're making an uh, offer to help somebody, you can say, would you like me to? Or can I help you with this? Can I give you a hand with this? Hand meaning like, but the hand is lakurwa. So can I give you a hand with this? If you like, I can, or I'd be happy to, or something like that. And when the person responds, they'll say, sure, that'll be great. Yes, thank you. Or thank you, thank you very much. Or they'll say, oh, thank you very much, but I'm I'm okay. I'm really okay, Lavina. They don't need help. Seven is um, uh, tell me when you're available. Uh, don't ever say, tell me this or tell me that. Usually it's better to say, instead of tell me, let me know is a nicer and more indirect way to say, tell me. So if you ever catch yourself saying, tell me this or tell me that, or tell me when you're free, it's better to say, let me know. Let me know when you're free. Number eight, you don't want to say, I don't like. When someone asks you for your opinion, if somebody says, hey, do you like this type of food or do you like this type of design or do you like this type of color? You don't want to say, I don't like. A better way to say it is, I'm not too fond of or you can say, I'm not a big fan of or you can say, I'd prefer or I'd rather prefer whatever you prefer versus the what they're showing you. So it's better to stick to like, I'm not too fond of, or I prefer, or I'm not a big fan of, or I'd rather something else. Whenever you're interrupting or whenever you want to get inside a conversation, or let's say you're in a big group chat and you want to say something, it's always nicer to say, sorry to interrupt, but sorry to bother everyone, but I apologize for interrupting, but would you mind if I blah, 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 or could I add something? Let's say two people are already talking and you want to say something even more, then you can say, could I add something? But 10 is like, let's say you want to end a conversation, like you're chatting with two people and you need to go. Um, this is really important in English, like the way you start a conversation, the way you end it. It's like, well, I better get back to whatever, whenever you're working on something, you know, I better get back to my work. Or if somebody else is working and you went up to them, you, you interrupted them, then you can say, I'll let you get back to your work. Uh, but it was really nice talking to you or thanks for talking to me. And uh, if you have to go, then you can say, I have to run or I have to get going. It was nice talking to you. Okay, I think I gave you guys a lot of information, so let me just quickly review. Number one, not I want. Don't ever say I want, I want. You can say I'd like, I will have, or I'd rather. You say um, not give me, reply me, send me, but could you, could you please, could you kindly. And when you want to say somebody's somebody made a mistake, you can say it looks like there's a there might be a mistake or it seems like maybe there's something missing or I seem to remember we agreed on this way and not that way right or something like that number four when you want to say no you can't go or you can't come that sounds great but I have so much work to finish tonight I really appreciate the invitation but I can't make it tonight I'm so sorry number five to say no to an idea, you can say, I'm not sure that would work. Uh, I'm not so sure if this will work. Number six, can I give you a hand instead of saying, do you need help? Or you can say, may I help? Or uh, those are all okay. Number seven, and don't say, tell me, say, let me know when you are blah, blah, blah. 
Number eight, instead of saying, I don't like it, you say, I'm not too fond of or I'm not a big fan of ice cream instead of saying, no, I don't like it. Number nine, whenever you need to interrupt, you say, sorry to interrupt, but could I interrupt for a second? Um, number 10, uh, this is when you're ending a conversation. Uh, I'll let you get back to work. I'd rather get back to work. I'd, uh, sorry, no, I'd better get back to work. Number six, Homework can I give you a hand? One, I'd like. May I have? I will have. Instead of, no, do you I need won't. a help? Number two. Do you need it help? Number seven, let me know when you are free, please. Now tell me when you are free. Homework for this week. Number one, I'd like. I will have. Not I want. Number two, could you, could you please, could you kindly not send me, give me, or reply me? Number three, it looks like, it seems like maybe there's something missing. I seem to remember we agreed on uh, not directly pointing out the mistake. Number four, that sounds great, but I have so much work to finish tonight. Say no and give a short reason. Number five, to say no to an idea. I'm not sure that would work. I'm not so sure if this will work. Number six, can I give you a hand? May I help instead of do you need help? Number seven, let me know when you're free, please. Not tell me when you're free. Number eight, I'm not too fond of, or I'm not a big fan of ice cream, instead of saying, no, I don't like. Number nine, interrupt by saying, sorry to interrupt, but, or could I interrupt for a second? And number 10, I'll let you get back to work, or I'd better get back to work.